Hey everybody and welcome on back to Minecraft 1.15. Today we're back here in our survival world and we're going to be working on the Nordic Village yet again. I'm so excited to be building up this one. Last episode we came through here and built up this big old dude, which was so fun to do. We added these white quartz, smooth quartz dragons to the top of it and I think it gave a great highlight to the build. And underneath this one we actually built up a storage room as well. To accompany our little starter house of the area being this one right here we now have a full-on feast hall and storage room down here which has been so awesome it's been really fun kind of resetting everything and starting more or less from scratch as far as the resources go i did go and gather up a bunch more brown wool so we could bring in a bunch of our banner design throughout here which is really sweet so we got a bunch of those dotted around in this one the interior of this is more or less completed for now i want to make it a bit more interesting by adding some more details into the walls and things like that but that's something we'll get to in a later episode right now today i want to focus on building up our enchanter setup right up in there we're gonna do like a sears tent kind of outside of the edge of the village and surround it by a few trees but before we tackle that one today. This area over here has seemed like it'd be a great idea to like extend the road out this way, build a tiny little bridge and add another pig pen over in this area with somebody like a little tender's hut or a house area where somebody can live and do all that stuff and then add in a few trees around it. So I think we're gonna go back to the old school time-lapse mode with our little flip cam in the sky right up here and get to work on this one. I do hope y'all enjoyed that time lapse. I had so much fun working on that one. We went absolutely crazy there, just doing so much work. I wasn't expecting to build the entire forest, but I just got in a rhythm and I was like, you know what? We're gonna be tackling this. But right now we are bringing a few piggies over to our new field area or the new pig pen over here as well which is super fun. I'm so happy we got this one going. It's really nice having this entire corner of the village finished more or less, but there's a few bits of detail that I still want to be adding in here. We of course need to be bringing out just a lot more life into this area and this these dang pigs. Come on, come on, get through, get through here. What, what's this little guy doing? Why are you stuck? Come on, little buddy. Come on, up here, up here, little guy. Come on this way. There you go, and it's raining. All right, well, that's super fun. Uh, we'll get a bunch of rain in here. And now we have thunder too. That's just absolutely perfect. 
Going to be taking all the leads back here, and we can finally leave these piggies in here. I'll come back over and breed them up. But there's one more thing that I want to be tackling in this central area or lower areas these interiors this will be the final step in order to finish up everything we got this stuff hidden throughout here and actually put another campfire up on top of that one because i wanted to get our smoke actually coming out the top and i think it looks so much better now that it just adds to that colder environment of having smoke coming out of some of the houses i think it's gonna be a great way to go but we got this one here to finish up as well as you can see it's pretty empty we got the central one in here i don't know if it's really going to work out too well with an interior space but we'll see on that one and now I think it's time that we actually build these ones up and get to it. All of the interiors are now finished up, which is awesome. It was so much fun getting that thing built up. And this gives us almost exactly a stack every single time we harvest it. So maybe we need to get like a few more on here to get just that full stack. But the interiors on both these houses are finished up. And I've been adding a few things down to the front here, like a little bit of a notice board. Maybe somebody's hunting for a creeper. And I added some snow and things just back throughout here because this spot was empty. Threw in a very tiny tree and got that one finished up. But it's looking great. I really like it. This entire part of the village is basically done at this point. And this house in here, I made it work decently well. I, it's still this central part's bugging me. So I don't really know what to do with it. If y'all have any ideas, be sure to let me know. But right now, it's just kind of that smoke here in the center. We got a little bit of a storage room off to the side over here, which is cool. Some more stuff like that. I've been adding more flowers around here just to get a pop of color. And then up here, if I can crawl up, uh, we now have this guy, which is just a bed. One thing I've noticed since in 115 is if you're coming up a ladder, you press space on it at all. Since now you can activate your elytra whenever you're going upwards, not just downwards. Uh, you now uh, fall all the way down your ladder. So everybody be careful of that one in 115. Hopefully that gets fixed up here soon. But coming over to the second house, I think this one turned out super well. I decided to add a bunch of composters to this one because I felt like that might be some some foo. Hello there. That <laughs> was unexpected. We're just going to kill you all from right down here. If we get bad omen, that's... We didn't get bad omen. We got everything else. Okay, that's we're just going to leave that one dude up there. He's fine. But anyways, inside of here, we have a bunch of these things because I figured it'd be food for the pigs. And then there's just a small house back in here. Uh, one thing again, thank you everybody who went over to the bug tracker last time and upvoted the bug that I linked in the description. I'm going to leave it down there again. If y'all want to help me out on getting this thing fixed, that would be great because it's going to help a lot of people out here. I know a lot of people are struggling with that issue for texture pack makers as well. So everybody, thank you so very much for helping us out there. The next thing that we're going to be tackling in today's episode, however, is we're going to be coming up here and building up the Enchanter's Hut. I know we would, talked about that one earlier at the beginning of the episode, and I think I'm ready. I think I got a cool idea in mind of how we can do this one, but I want to make it look a bit more unique than everything else. I'm kind of leaning towards the village, maybe not coming all the way up here and being super populated with houses throughout. I'm almost thinking of like taking a kind of a rounded angle right to there and having houses maybe end at this point, like right from there out to here. And then we'll do some more fields or something, more of the forest. And we can still have that wall out in this area. I don't really know. I'm kind of leaning of making the village smaller than super huge because I think it'll help with the scale of it and keeping us motivated to keep going with it. But anyways, we're up here and I wanted to stick this one right next to our statue here. So maybe this person could be like the enchanter or seer or whoever is also they kind of watch over that structure but what i wanted to do was probably do like a five wide front there and then i was thinking we could extend these out just being three on this side and then we can do that same type of thing over on this side here as well so it's going to be a bit more of like a a giant plus shape of sorts and then i'm thinking we can bring ourselves back here by three and then maybe mm, do we want to do that or do we want to bring it in we could bring it in like this and then bring it back like right here and bring that one up to this point that'd be kind of cool because that gives us some different shapes instead of just being a full plus shape it gets a little bit skinnier in there so i think we will go with that one i think that's gonna be a good plan i'm gonna get a little bit of work done on this thing our base shape for the house is now in and it's looking pretty cool i decided to break up our roof line here so it wasn't just a consistent straight line going all the way back so this one here kind of ends right here then we'll have another lower point down there I got to figure out our top way for the heat to be getting out as we are going. But I decided to change our doorway entrance to be right up in this spot. So it's a bit smaller and then we can open this front face up more. The general plan for the interior, I'm thinking we're going to have our enchanting setup right over in here. Living quarters probably back in here. Maybe some kitchen or brewing station over here. And then who knows what's going to be in this area. We'll find that out as we're getting through it. 
But I did want to come through here and start adding in a few windows and just kind of popping out a few spots and throwing these ones in. And we can just do a few things like that. I thought right down here would be kind of a cool spot for a window. Uh, we'll put it here for now, but we might be removing it because the bookshelves and everything are going to be going on this wall back here for our enchanting table. So we got to be mindful of where those have to be placed to be able to get the full enchanting setup up here. And yeah, I just need to keep adding in a few of these things throughout here. Then we're going to start bringing in a lot more of the details. And then I think we unfortunately have to go find some obsidian and break that stuff and get ourselves a few diamonds, which we got to go mine for. And then we can hopefully build an enchanting setup. Down in the mines now, I uh, found some lava here that we can use. And it looks like this trails off into the distance. And I always like to, before we start farming everything, I do like to kind of, for some reason, I always have to know where this stuff leads. So we're just going to end that completely ruined my torch right there. And that's going to do it again because it's uh, still flowing there. Okay, so I want to see if there's anything on the far side of this lava lake here because I feel like I see some more coming through here. Is there more lava off in that? Oh, hey, look at that. There's another cave. We can get a bunch of obsidian here pretty easily. Then we just got to find those diamonds. And I am really bad at placing this water apparently. What's up here though? I kind of hear some water in the background. Is there any? Where's some water? In? Oh, well... I guess we got diamonds. <laughs> Look at that luck. Oh my gosh. One block broken and we got our diamonds down here. And there's the water. Okay, I wasn't going crazy. There was water here. I don't know why I was going towards the water when we already have a water bucket. But, you know, it came to diamonds. So I'm pretty happy with that one. There's some more obsidian over here. All right, I got to gather up a little bit of this obsidian stuff so we can make an enchanting table. I want to get enough so we can get a nether portal set up too because I think the brewery area... Would it be super cool? So we need to get some nether wart and we need to figure out where we can get a blaze rod or two from the nether. Thankfully, though, we do have another fortress pretty close to us out there. Now, a great little tip for if you're ever harvesting up obsidian, break one of them and then put your water bucket there. And as you're going out forwards, we should probably eventually see some lava here below us like that. And that's instantly going to go there and your obsidian won't get burnt. So you can actually kind of protect yourself and just flow with the water you know just flow with the waves everybody just be super chill yeah man we were able to get 15 diamonds out of that one and very quickly i wanted to come down here and deal with these cows that have been sitting here forever we need some leather to be able to make some books so i figured a great way to be getting some leather was to be coming down here and kill these cows that have sat here for two years and we still have yet to fix up the pen it even has mixed matched fences going around it so that's something that's uh these ones are just going to hang out down here. Let's get rid of these chickens too, just to get rid of everything from here. And then I can, ooh, I don't want to get, you're a wild pupper though. Shall we tame this guy? Someone give me a name. We need some bones and a name. All right, can we just talk about how cool this looks? Simply just flying up into the mountains here. Oh, it's so cool. And now that we have the village behind it, we got all the snowy trees in there. It's really starting to come together. I'm so happy with this one. Next thing that we're going to be doing though, is I figured behind the shrine that we're making inside of here, I wanted to have like the legs, the legs, not the legs, the legs of the statue that we're going to make something right around here. And then we can walk through the statue. Just had this idea of we walk through the statue and then inside of here is where we're going to have a nether portal. And I think that's going to be so cool. So we can just do something right in here real fast. We'll come in and fix this one up later and make it look actually fancy, fancy and all that stuff. But for now, we're just going to have another portal sitting out in here. And I kind of want to do a three wide one. So it's even on this structure. So that'd be something like one, two, three, one, two, and three, then one, two, and three. And I definitely don't have flint and steel on me. But we can do this, get inside the nether, and it's definitely going to hook up to one of our other portals, but that'd be totally fine. As we figured it, definitely linked back up to our hub, but we can just easily come over here and get out of it through this giant hole in the floor that I, we made a long time ago and never really finished. Ooh, can we get him? Can we get him? <laughs> yeah, there's one gas down already. And down in this way, we actually have a nether fortress over in here that does have an entire farm built in it so maybe we don't use that one maybe we fly around and try and find a new one here how's my elytra doing okay we gotta we got enough room with an elytra here because i think i slabbed that entire thing and i don't really want to be using that farm too much but it looks like we actually already have a second one right over here and some soul sand Ooh, avoiding the lava okay let's see if we can't find anything this is a great start we can take some glowstone back with us but let me see if i can't find some blazes in here and see if we can't maybe get lucky with some nether ward as well I really should just keep recording for next like five seconds because I literally turned the corner. Didn't walk even any like more than five blocks. Turned the corner right after that glowstone. 
And we got these guys right in here. So there are a few blaze rods for us. We, seven is probably totally fine. How many things are we gonna make? All right, one more set. One more set just to be safe here. And this is definitely where we die because we light everything on fire and get ourselves killed. All right, well, time to find that nether wart. Well, I think this is a pretty nice find. We got some diamond horse armor in here and then we got a bit more nether wart over here. So everything we need is ready to go here. And we're ready to get back over there and finish up building this thing. I just gotta, oh wait, we need sugar cane. We need sugar cane to make paper to make books. And I've been grabbing up as much of this nether quartz as I can find here, because we uh, we need a lot of it if we're gonna keep making those white dragon structures, which I think are looking really cool. You know, one terrible thing about building custom terrain in the sky like this is creepers. I think I definitely have way too many bookshelves, but I got a lot of paper, so I figured we, we could make up a few of them. But I like the house that we have up here. It feels very, very cool. The last steps that we have to do today, however, are we need to finish up the interior of this one. We need to build a few trees around it. We need to snowyify it, and then it should be pretty good there. This is the rough chimney fireplace design I'm going for here. It's a bit more of a natural one, or a bit more of a, I don't know, something in here. I kind of want to be able to raise this up a bit and throw a cauldron on top of it. I feel like that could be a cool way that we can make, make a sweet change to it. Also, we dropped down a block here. Didn't mention that earlier, but I did that. Uh, can we somehow get a bookshelf to stack up here and get like full levels out of this one? Is that no, that is not even close to being there. <laughs> okay, apparently it can't sit right next to a block. So that's good to know. Uh, but I think we just need one more, right? Nope, that's still 28. How about now? Still 28. What am I missing? Does that do it? Okay, the 30 does it. Cool. Well, we're just going to do that. That's going to be good for us here. I guess we need to have quite a few bookshelves in here. We can detail around this stuff as we go, though. But I had to get this one in here. A Fortune 2 pickaxe. That kind of sucks. Silk Touch would be nice. I need Silk Touch more than I need Fortune right now. I have way too many Fortune picks. My Silk Touch picks are uh, not very good anymore. Now, before we fall down here again, I think it's probably a good idea to fill this one up. That was probably one of the most dangerous creepers that I've had to deal with in a very long time right there. And we are good to go. On top of that, that was perfect number of grass that we had for that stack club. That's great. Uh, but coming up here, I finished up the interior of our structure. And it look it looks super sweet on the inside. The outside, however, I have not touched any more than where we were last at. So I think we're going to just be doing all that one because I know our episode time is getting up there right now. But check this thing out. I figure we're going with like an enchanter's witch's hut type thing of sorts. So we got a bunch of bushes up here. Maybe they're picking some herbs off of these. Some random crafting things throughout. Dro brought out some dried kelp because I felt like that looked like something that might go into some potions. Got our brewing stand. Don't ask how long it took to get that. It was one of the worst ideas I've had, but I stuck through with it. We got our full level 30 enchanting setup here. Got a little bit of this stuff up top and our nether wart is growing right back in here, which is fantastic. Then over here, we've just got a little bit of a bedroom that's pretty lackluster, to be honest. Anybody have any ideas on what we can do back here in this space to make it a little bit better? Let me know, because right now it just feels very wooden and I want to get away from that. Maybe we just throw a carpet down there to give ourselves some more color and we just need to maybe like a potted plant or something. Let me know what ideas you all have. But anyways, it's time to make our outside look much, much better than it is. It's like a little winter wonderland up here on the hill. Oh, it's so very nice. It's taken a long time because for some reason, I'm always like, I'm gonna do a little bit of terraforming. It's gonna be great. And then I spend like, two hours building trees but it's very cool I like it added a bunch of snow layers in here as well which is looking fantastic started working on our pathway coming up into this area which unfortunately we were not able to get to this one today we're actually going to be getting to it next episode now at this point just because I got way carried away with all of the trees we built down there I think in this episode alone we've built more than 30 trees which is normally like insane but it's been so fun working here I'm so excited to finally be building this one. And also, thank you, everybody out there. Thank you all so much for the support on this series. You all have been absolutely amazing. This has been so fun to get back into something brand new. I was a little worried when we started it, but it seems like everybody's very, very much loving it. So I'm super pumped here. But this is the exterior of the house now. It's looking pretty freaking fantastic. But unfortunately, everybody, that's going to have to do it for today's episode. If y'all are still enjoying what we have going on here, please be sure to hit that like button. Please be sure to subscribe if you're brand new. 
And thank you all so very much again for the support. I will catch you all on the flip side.